Cooper Walker from the Yoga Ranger Studio. And today's Yin Yoga Snack is focused on giving you just a tiny little boost of energy for your day. And what we're relying on is balancing out the kidney and bladder meridians. So we'll be looking at the inside of the legs and all the way down the back in three different poses. So you'll need a couple of props, one blanket underneath if that's for your comfort. You will definitely need a second blanket or beach towel folded up for some of these poses. Although you probably could do it without them, but it's an added benefit there. We're gonna start in giraffe pose. So giraffe is bringing the bottoms of the feet together. Then you're gonna take that right foot out to the right. You can turn the foot and flex it, or you can put it flat so the tops of the toes are on the floor. And hug that left foot in, sit up nice and tall, and then go ahead and fold forward just a little bit. Try to release all the muscle engagement and tension, allowing your breath to be a little bit longer on your exhale than your inhale. And although you may be able to get all the way down to the floor, we try to take about two thirds of our maximum pose in yin because we hold these poses at quite a bit longer. So even though you could, you might not want to. If you feel some mobility and tension in the areas, upper legs and inside of legs, then you're probably fine where you're at. Try to keep both hips on the floor. Gently start to press yourself back up. You're gonna pull that left ankle out first, right ankle back around, back to butterfly or bound angle and kind of wave your butterfly wings for a breath or two. And then you're gonna switch sides. So taking that left leg back behind you, noticing the difference between side one and side two. Hug that right foot in. My co-host is blocking my path here. Sit up nice and tall, and then go ahead and start to walk your hands and fold forward. And notice the difference between the left and the right side for you. So everybody's body is asymmetrical, so things will feel different on different sides. Try to line yourself up down the middle, make sure that your hips are centered on the floor. That's where the blanket can come in handy to kind of tuck underneath there to give you some support.
start to walk your hands back up to center. Unwind that right ankle first, left ankle around. Bottoms of the feet together again, wave your butterfly wings. And then we're gonna take Y-legged forward fold. So I'm gonna have to adjust around my co-host here. So on the very edge of the blanket, take the legs almost as wide as you normally would go. And then go ahead and fold yourself forward. So I like to bounce my knees and release that tension in the back of the legs. Wiggle your toes, let them wave out to the side. You'll find that as you breathe into this pose, your legs will naturally start to sort of unwind. My knees tend to drift more toward the floor. Just about one more minute here. Very slowly start to walk your hands back towards your hips. Sit upright for just a breath or two. Maybe wiggle your toes a little bit. And then go ahead and reach inside your knees and pull those legs in once again. Just windshield wipering those knees side to side. It's always good to take a little break in between these to let everything come back to where it was, maybe. Okay, our last pose is seal pose, so I'm gonna go the other direction. <laughs> Bring yourself all the way down onto the floor. Take your hands underneath. If seal pose is not your friend, you can always take sphinx pose with elbows underneath the shoulders. But if you're taking seals, turn the thumbs forward, hands out a little wider, and press up. So it's often hard to let go of the glutes in the back and the legs to release into this pose. But go ahead and just sort of let that belly and chest come forward. If this becomes too much, always come back down into Sphinx pose. Same effect, a little less of a back bend.
wherever you are, go ahead and bend those elbows, come all the way down. Cross your hands on top of one another, take those elbows out and rest your head on the back of your hands. Maybe you rock your hips a little bit side to side. Gently start to walk those hands back along to your shoulders. Come all the way up to whatever seated position you like best, eyes closed or open. Take your hands to your heart. Take a moment here to check in with your body, scanning from head to toes, toes to head. Taking some nice deep breaths. Peace and namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with us today. If you enjoyed this practice, please like and comment, subscribe down below. I upload new videos throughout the week, every single week, three times a week now. So check back for those and I hope to see you again soon. And I hope this class gave you just a little bit more energy, a little caffeine boost whenever you needed it without the caffeine. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.